What is up everybody? It is Brian with First Shot Tactical back with another video for you here today. And today we are talking about how to mount your red dot to a 1911. And specifically, we are talking about the new AOS mounting system on the 1911s from Springfield Armory. For most 1911s, they do not come with a slide mill and you'll have to send your slide off to a company like CH Precision. They would mill your slide, send it back, and then you can add a red dot. Instead now, Springfield Armory released their new 1911 AOS lineup like this one here. This is actually actually the emissary, but they did this for all their other ones, including like the operator 1911 and some other ones. So now you get an optic cut on the top, which is their AOS. So all you have to do is remove this plate, pick up the right plate adapter, and then add your red dot. So that's exactly what we're gonna do today. First thing we wanna do, make sure everything's safe and clear. Next, we wanna remove the plate that's on top here. And you can see we have some torque screws here. So let's go ahead and remove those. And with those two screws out, this plate should just come off. You lift it from the front and then it'll slide right out. Make sure and keep this in case you wanna go back to just iron sights later on. You do need to pick up the right plate for the right optic that you have. We are gonna be mounting the Sealy Wolf X, which has a RMR footprint. So similar to like a Hollow Sun 407 or 507C. And in this case here, this plate that we have is going to work perfectly. So that way we can mount it. Again though, this is the cool part is you just need to pick up the right plate. Some other examples that I have on the table here and you can see they're all different shapes and sizes for the right optic. You can get a Delta Point Pro, a Dragonfly Mini Reflex, the RMR one that we have here, or also the Wasp Micro Reflex. But for ours, again, we're using the RMR one. So let's go ahead and grab the plate here. And then we're going to grab this and we're going to go ahead and this kind of hooks in on the rear here. You can see it's kind of a hook and then we're going to slide it down. So right there, that's what it's going to look like. And now we just need to add the two screws that did come from Springfield. We actually have a whole baggie of them here. And when tightening screws, I do switch over to my torque screwdriver. So that way we are not over tightening them, but not under tightening them. I normally do about 12 or 15 inch pounds. But again, we're gonna go ahead and grab our screws, drop them in like that. And then let's go ahead and torque these down. Quick pro tip here. So I have had issues with these screws for the plate going to the slide coming loose underneath the optic. One recommendation is I would say degrease these thread holes before installing it like we just did. So that way this has the best chance of getting a good secure grip and also make sure and put some blue Loctite on these. I know these come with some on it here. And that should be fine, but it doesn't hurt to add just a drop more. Another thing you can do to make sure these aren't backing out is you can put a mark on both of these. So that way, if you do have some issues and you remove your optic, you can see if it's off the mark and the screws are backing out or not. Next up, we're ready to add the red dot to the top and it's gonna sit right on that footprint like this. But now we gotta play the screw game here and figure out which screws will fit. I believe these ones are gonna work for us. And here's the actual dimensions of it and the length of it. So we're gonna grab two of those screws here. Let's go ahead and drop them in to secure this to the plate. And there we go. Awesome. And with that, you now have your red dot mounted to your 1911. And if you wanna make this look even cooler yet, what you can do is grab a Surefire X300, go ahead and mount this guy to the front. And now that looks freaking sweet. You get a classic 1911 with a modern red dot and flashlight, and you are ready to go hit the range. Hopefully this was helpful here. If it was, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think of this new AOS mounting system for 1911s from Springfield. And as always, have fun shooting, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks everybody.